So this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. You obviously know that because you clicked on the link, but today I wanna to talk about gaming on a MacBook Pro. Something that a lot of people don't associate with. Usually if you want a game, you have to go out and buy a Windows PC or laptop to play the latest AAA titles. However, ever since the previous model with the Vega 20, graphics have actually been really good. Their cards inside of here are keeping up with some of the Nvidia cards that you're seeing in the thinner and lighter laptops. For example, the Vega 20 is on par with the GTX 1650 Max-Q and the new Radeon 55M is between a 1650 Max-Q and a GTX 1660 Ti. That means not only are you getting more performance than let's say the Dell XPS 15 or a Lenovo X1 Extreme, you're also getting a very thin and light form factor. Now to make this happen, you have to install Windows using Boot Camp. It's a very easy process, but right now it's a little bit buggy because the drivers haven't been optimized yet. The first game I tested was Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I used the benchmark because it's the most taxing on the system. And if you keep the settings set to high at 1920 by 1200, you're looking at about 46 to 50 frames per second. If you lower it down to medium, you'll get about 55 frames per second. That means when you're actually playing the campaign and you're not doing the benchmark, you'll get over 60 frames per second. The next gaming benchmark I tested was Deus Ex Mankind. This is a super old title, but it's one of the most taxing games on people's systems. With settings set to high, I was averaging 50 frames per second, which means if you're actually playing the game normally, you should have no issues hitting 60. Now, one game that really surprised me was Overwatch. This thing flew on the MacBook Pro. I was getting 151 frames per second. This is with settings set to high at 1920 by 1200, and I could easily crank this up to ultra. I can even bring it to QHD and still get over 70 frames per second. I'm glad this runs well because Overwatch is hands down one of my favorite games. Now, when it comes to Fortnite, you're still better off playing it in Windows. It's just better optimized for Windows. It doesn't run as well with Mac OS. And I was getting really good frame rates, 75 frames per second with settings set to high. This is everything. I know some people like to tone down the shaders to increase the performance, but if you're leaving everything to its default at high, you're getting 75 frames per second. And the last game I tested was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This game is definitely not optimized yet to take advantage of the Radeon 5500M. As you can see, there's a lot of artifacting, color shifting, pixels look weird, especially like when you're looking in the distance. If you look super close, like at the ground, the shaders are fine. I turned off all the Nvidia settings under the main menu, but it didn't make a difference. However, I did get really good frame rates, 88 frames per second with most of the settings set to high. So I really wanted to test out Apex Legends and Battlefield 5 but I could not get them to install on this machine. They would force quit during installation with a VC++ error. It's a visual studio package that a lot of games require. I tried reformatting the computer, installing Windows again. I tried deleting the packages, installing them manually. They would just not install. If you wanna see performance benchmarks from those two specific games or any other suggestions, follow me on Instagram. I'll post them on stories. But one thing's to say for sure. It's looking promising. Windows Boot Camp still needs a lot of optimizations and specifically the Radeon 55M. But so far, I'm super impressed with the GPU performance. This means not only can I use this MacBook Pro to create and do my work, I can also install Windows and game on it at the same time. Just imagine next year when Apple decides to release a ProMotion display, we should have a high refresh rate to use as well. Anyways, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because if you did, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.